help me, Father. Oh, Lord, help me, Lord. Help me, Father. Some enemies need to be exposed. I should begin to wait for December. I guarantee you that every witch around you will die. Some say this witch must die. Shall this witch must die. Shall this witch must die. Shall this witch must die. Every witch around you, every witch in your family, every witch in your home, every witch in your marriage, every witch in your dad shall die. Acts 28, look at verse 1, quickly. From verse 1 to verse 6. Acts Sadabalabahusha. Someone says, shake it off. Shake it off. Some things are trying to attach themselves to you. Someone has shake it off. Unknowing to you, Hoko Shabahada, you thought you were in a mist of your colleagues and friends, not knowing they were surrounded by vipers. I'm here to let you know today every viper in your life is about to catch fire. 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 Give me just some five minutes. Let me. But say faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So I just want to give you some five minutes of what dissertation to let you know that God is still on your side. I don't care who wants to sting you. God is a power to poison your enemies. He does you shall power. I Man, if you don't know what you carry, as far as you are part of this fellowship, I'm telling you there's fire in your life. And I hear God say, anything around you that is not of God is about to be exposed. If I hear you, amen, God will expose them now. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know who's here, but I can, as I walk in here, I saw number 50, number 15. I said, God, what is that? God is saying that there are people in your life. They waited for you to carry them, but now they've turned up against you. But I hear God say, in the next five days, I will expose them before you. I will expose you. If I were you, I will open my mouth and Lord, expose them now. Have you found it? Yes. Give me. Yes, Acts chapter number 28. This is Paul, the apostle Paul, journeying from one city to the next city. But I want you to understand that sometimes in your life, you are going through some things. I mean, you, might, you may not understand how you are coming out of it. But I come to let you know, if you keep your eyes upon the Lord, you are surely going to come out. I don't care how much captivity they put you in. I don't care where you are right now. You are coming out. Someone say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Yes, what the Bible says. Talk to me. And when they were escaped. And when they were escaped. Somebody say, I shall escape. I shall escape. I came to let you know today by the grace of God. Listen to me, I don't come to preach. I cannot prophesy. There's somebody here. I don't know somehow, somewhere, you are being in captivity in your mind and in your body. Somebody say, I shall escape this. I don't know what's going on around you, but I came to let you know this is God's word for you today. Somebody say, I shall escape this. I shall escape this. Listen to me. Go ahead now. Go ahead. And they knew that the island was called. Listen, go back again. Go back. Go back again. And when they were and when they were escaped. Listen now. When they were escaped, it means they were in captivity. Now go ahead. And they knew that the island was called. And they knew the island was called what? Melitia. Melitia. Hold it right there. Listen to me. It means all this why they never knew where they were. There's somebody here. You are going through some situation. You don't know whether you are coming out or not. But I want to let you know today, God said, by the power of the living God, you are coming out of that. I don't know where you are right now. Where you are right now, but somehow I'm coming out of this. Coming out of this. The Bible says, it says, when they were escaped. 
step and they say God what I said he said look at it it was only then they knew where they were in captivity do you know sometimes situations will make you believe that you don't know you, that you are going nowhere anymore it makes you believe you will die in that situation but I come to let you know today that God will open your eyes and you will come out of that situation I say you will come out you will come out you will come out you will come out it's not by power not by mind but by my soul I feel the Holy Ghost in here something is pushing me already so I will come out, come out of this I just come to encourage you don't be, don't give up where you are right now it might seem as if things are not going well for you you are praising God you are shouting you are dancing but yeah things are going down but I want to assure you that today God said you are coming out your son is coming out your home is coming out your house is coming shut up coming out of this so it was only when they were escaped that they knew that the island where they were was called Melita. Hear me? I'm talking. I want to let someone know today that God is saying before the next five, six days, I will open your eyes to see certain situations. I will open your eyes to see certain conditions that God is saying is about to change. So I said, I will escape this. I will escape this. It was only when they, we escaped that they realized that the hell on the way was not where they were supposed to be. I don't know who you are here. Sophie is telling me there's somebody here right now. You are not where you are supposed to be. But in the next seven days, God will open your eyes to come out. I don't know who tired you. I don't know what they have done against you. But I hear God say, by the reason of the Lord, your eyes are open now. Your eyes are open now. Your eyes are somebody say, Oh Lord, open my eyes. Are you following somebody? Amen. Amen. We go pray just now. So the God said to me, look at it. It was when they were escaped, with me before, they never knew where the way. Sometimes situation will make you feel like help is not coming nowhere. Help is not coming nowhere. You trained, you prayed, you trusted God, and you did all you have to do, but still help is not coming. But I'm telling you to, to believe God today that help is on the way. For that daughter you have been praying for, for that son you have been praying for, for your husband you have been praying for, your child father you have been praying for, help is on the way today. The Bible say, come on. I don't know why I came here to encourage her, but I hear God says, I don't know where you are, but you are surely coming out. I said, you are surely going to come. If I were you, I would give God a shout of praise. Go ahead in verse 2. And the very barrier's people showed us no Hold it now. Life. Go back again. Read slowly, yes? And the barbarous people. Listen, and the barbarous people or the barbarian people. Hear me? That word barbarian it simply means people. Listen, when you describe somebody as a barbarian, it means that person is really bad. When you say they are stupid, it means they are stupid. If you say they are foolish, it means they are foolish. So I said these barbarian people, he said they show us what? No little kindness. No little kindness. Hear me, oh child of God. When God is for you, even your enemies will bless you. When God is for you, even your enemies will bless you. When God is for you, even your haters will bless you. I prophesy every hater in your life that shall turn around to bless you in the name of Jesus. Shall fire, fire, fire. fire. I feel like something is pushing me right now. The boss says, These barbarians, listen to me, it means they are wicked people. It means they are bad people. But the Bible says, listen to me, because.
because God was with Paul. I guarantee you, when God is for you, no wish can stand against you. No demon can stand against you. When God is for you, I don't care who don't like you, they will bless you by force, by fact. If that's your shall power. Oh, God help me. I'm trying to help myself here. There's somebody here. Someone had to shake it up. There's somebody here. I came to encourage. I know right now some members of your family they are called barbarians. They write you off because you are worshiping God. They write you off because you are celebrating God. But I can guarantee you in less than seven days, God will change your story. 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 God will change. Someone say, Oh Lord, change my story. Do you know what it means to come? Do you know what it means to come into a place of barbarians? I hear me somebody. So I don't know. Maybe right now you believe you are among barbarians. But by the anointing of God, put your hand on your head. By the anointing of God upon you today, I prophesy every barbarian around you, every demon around you, every witch around you, by the end of today, they shall turn around and bow down to you and bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every witch in your home, every witch in Guyana, every barbarian in your workplace, I prophesy to you by the reason of the anointing that's upon your life, the anointing that breaks the yoke. I prophesy that in less than seven days, they shall turn around to be a blessing in your life, a blessing in your home, a blessing in your family, a blessing on your job. Shall yes. If that's you shy, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This bastard, bastard, these barbarians, they show us no little kindness. It means when God begins to move in your life, even though they don't want to see you before, they will have to come to look, look at you. They will come to look for you. Do you know why? Because when your season comes, I don't care how much they plan to destroy you, you will shake it off in the fire. So when I shake it off, verse 3. And when Paul had I'm close gathered, right now. Yes. Yes. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks. Aha, uh -huh. listen to me. This this bless you. And when Paul had gathered a bunch of sticks. I'm about to preach, man. Can I preach this word right now? Like, like I feel like preaching right now. Preach. And when Paul had gathered what? A bunch of sticks. A bunch of sticks. Now, what happened now? And lay them on the fire. And put them on the fire. And put them where? On the fire. fire. And put them where? Where? On the fire. Somebody say fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. It was when Paul, when he got out the sticks, every stick looked like a stick to him. He had all the sticks in his hand. Only when he put the stick in the fire, what happened now? There came a viper. There came a viper. A viper. Out of the heat. Out of the heat of the fire. And fasting on his And fasting on his hands. Go ahead. And when the barbarians saw the uh, hold that now. Hold that. That's verse 4. Now the Bible says, watch me. I want to close right here. The Bible says, watch this. But so when Paul, because it was a cold season. Hear me now. Sometimes I'm telling you, God will bring you into a cold season to light some fire in you. It was a cold, that was a fire. fire. Sometimes, when you become too cold, that's when God's fire starts burning. The Bible says, when Paul got that sticks together, it was a cold season. It was a winter time. So when Paul got that sticks to make fire, when he packed one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven sticks together. He carried them. And as he was carrying the sticks, the stick, one of them, yeah, yeah, what? One of them, as he put the stick in the fire, the heat in the fire. Are you hearing me, somebody? The heat in the fire never he, 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 he brought out the viper. The viper in the fire. Hear me, oh child of God. There are some people right there in your life. You carry them. Yes, come on. You carry them. They allow you to carry them. But not know they were vipers. But hear me, oh child of God. When you fire in you, it's about to expose every viper in your life. Oh, yeah, the back of shot. So it's a fire. Hear me, that's some people, you carry them, you invest in them, you give them everything, but now you come, they turn around to bite you, they turn around to sting you, but I come to let you know today, my God is about to expose every viper in your life, so it's a fire, it's a fire. Fire. fire! Hear me. Many of you right now, you're a victim of circumstances. There are people that came to you without nothing. You help them. You give them everything. You allow them in your house. Oh, yes. They waited for you to carry them. They came with nothing. But now, they want to destroy you. Are you hearing me, somebody? I prophesy every viper in your life shall be exposed. Expose. 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 Shut. Expose. Expose. Can I give you this word? Yes. Can I give you this word? Give us. The Bible says, when Paul, when Paul carried his sticks, he never knew that one of them was a viper. Uh -huh. Hear me? He pretended to be like stick. He pretended to be a friend. Which is to be carried. You hear me somewhere right now? Many of you right now, you have lost your life. You have lost your hope. You have lost your business. Because somebody you carry. Come on now. You carry them because you thought they were your friends. You carry them because you thought they were your family members. You carry them because you thought they were your colleagues. But not knowing they were vipers wanting to sting you. But I promise to you today, in less than seven days, every viper in your life, every viper in your home, may God expose them so they fire. May God expose them so they fire. May God expose them so fire. May God expose them to fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fire. Pastor Pam, yes. they waited to be carried. Yes. Until you carried them, you never knew they were witches and wizards. Yes. Until you carried them, they never knew that they were bad blood. Until you carried them, they never knew they were envy and jealous folks. Yes. Hear me, oh child of God. They waited for you to carry. Are you hearing me? They waited for you to invest in them. You show them. You show them your business. But now they want to take over your business. So say fire. Fire. The Bible says, and the viper. Are you hearing me? Because of the heat in the fire. What exposed the viper was the heat in the fire. Are you hearing me? Somewhere? That's why today you pray. Oh God, let me be a fire for you. Let me be a fire. Every witch around me, every wizard around me, may God expose them now. Some say, Oh God, let me be on fire. Let me be on fire. Let my heart be on fire for you, God. Every witch around me, every wizard in my house, I expose them now. Shall fire. The snake, the viper, the Bit Paul, the wrap around Paul's hand. God said to me, I said, God, what are you saying? He said, it represents falsehood personalities. Falsehood personalities. 
and spirit of deception. All right. Come on now. They waited for you to carry them. Yes. To help them. Yes. To show them the way. Yes. But now they will wrap themselves around you to sting you. I come to let you know our God does not sleep. Our God is the Alpha or the Omega. Your God does not sleep. And very soon, God said, Don't worry. Every viper in your life, every viper in your marriage, viper in your relationship. I say, I hear the Lord says within seven days, if I hear your amen, God will expose them now. If your aim is louder, then I talk to you right now. Now, in verse 4, because of what, listen to me, because of what people saw was happening to Paul, because initially they thought, oh, he was a man of God. So now, this the viper wrap himself around Paul's hand and Paul was not afraid he shook the same viper into the fire now watch this and the barbarians in verse 4 yes. what does it say and when the barbarians saw the venomous and beast when they saw the, the viper yes Hang on his hands. Hang on his hand. They said what? They said among themselves. They said among themselves. No doubt this man this is This man is a murderer. murderer. It's a murderer. Hear me. So people right now, when they don't know how to fight you no more, they bring God in the equation. When they say to yourself, oh, God is not with her no more. Oh, God is not with him no more. What they don't understand is that God is still on the throne. Hear me. Let me preach this word. The Bible says when the barbarians, that's why it's not it's not good for you to listen to people's opinion. Hear me. Because people's opinion cannot stop God from promoting you. Hear me, oh child of God. The barbarians, they said this man is surely a murderer. That's why this viper is holding on to him. Hear me, oh child of God. I don't know who have labeled you. I don't know what they put upon you. But God is a power to remove you from you. He that you shall power. Now hear me. Point number two I'm making for you. Don't allow the, the first thing I'm saying to you is that you are living in a wicked world. Amen. All I've been saying to you this morning is that I'm showing you that we are living in a wicked world. Yes. That people are waiting for you to carry them. Come on now. The Bible says, Paul pick up the sticks. And one of the sticks was a viper. God said, there are people that you have carried. Come on. There are people that you have labored with. Yes. There are people that hate Koshaba. There are people that you, you have invested in. Yes. And they turn around to wrap themselves around you uh -huh. like a viper. Uh -huh. Someone like, shake it off. Shake it off. God. Now, people right now, because of what you have been through, they waited to see if you collapse and die. But you are still standing. You are still praising God. You are still, I hear God say, there's somebody here right now. You will shake up that problem. You will shake up that situation. You will shake up that disease. You will shake up that circumstance into the fire because your season of favor has come. Shake it off. I wish somebody here. I wish there's somebody here to praise God with me now. I'm telling you, the Bible say when they saw, Pastor, how beat, how beat, when they saw that the man that was beaten, oh, someone says, say, neighbor. neighbor, you have been beaten. You have been 
but you are still alive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, neighbor, you have been beaten, but you are still alive. Say, neighbor, you went to that storm, you are still alive. You went to that divorce, you are still alive. You went to that separation, you are still Oh, shah. Yeah, come on, come Come and say, fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Hear me, this, 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 I'm going to be dangerous to the enemy. Hear me, oh child of God. God is saying to tell someone right now, but say, how be it when there's look at Paul? Paul was still nice looking. Paul was still walking tall. Paul was still shouting and praising God. They said, oh no, no, no. Our first opinion about him as a murderer is not right. But we see him now as a God. Yeah. Me, oh child of God, those that rejected you, those that say you are a nobody, they will come back to eat at your table. If that's you, let me hear your amen louder.